Good morning. Welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. This is a continuation from uh, Friday, my last video. I am out here putting down weed fabric. I, am, I was just trying to see how it would look, you know, how it would work. It's very good fabric. Vivo sent me this fabric. Um, they reached out to me and asked if I would like to try some products. Um, the fabric was one of those products, and so I went ahead and, and grabbed it because that's a good uh, that's a good offer. <laughs> um, and so I'm putting this down. I normally use cardboard boxes, and I probably do that two to three times a year. I go to a store and I grab some cardboard boxes. But I do think that this will be helpful to have this. It would cut down on my time um, out in the garden putting down cardboard to suppress the weeds. And so I am very happy that they offered this fabric to me. Um, and so it came in a large roll. You can see the roll down there. I do think that it's going to cover my whole garden. I didn't realize how big the roll was. And in my last video, I said it would probably be half cardboard, half um, weed barrier. That's not true. I am really liking this. Um, and so if I run out, I will order more um, because I do like this. I, I think it gives the garden a different look. Um, is it necessary? Absolutely not. Um, but there is a link in the description below if you are looking for a fabric because this looks like it's going to be really good now. <laughs> I absolutely should have done my bags after this fabric. But look, y'all, I can like, come out here and lay down on the ground if I wanted to. Like, I, I'm very excited to have this. Um, but I probably should have did my bags afterwards but I didn't so I had to move all of those bags this morning and I'm gonna have to move more bags as I put this down but we are going to switch over to putting the trellises up because I did find a digger a um to put the t-post in the ground I found one this morning it was about 40 some dollars at Home Depot but I think it'll make my job easier plus I'm trying to beat the rain this morning y'all I can see myself laying out here now like i'm not even joking just laying out here like once everything starts to grow in the summer and it's like you know hiding me i can see myself laying out here i better get up though right <laughs> all right let's put these t-posts in the ground Okay, so we have, she's out here helping me today. She owes me money, so this is how she pays me back. <laughs> she's putting the fertilizer in the bags. We have about two hours, if that, left before the rain comes. So I'm using the Garden Tone Espoma. She's just going through and putting uh, that in the bags, two handfuls and moving the soil and stuff around. Um, we got all of the barrier down we haven't pinned it down because we're trying to, like I said, beat the weather. But we have it down and we're using bags to hold it down. And tomorrow, we will come back out and pin it down. So the last trellis that I had to get up, last three, were the one right here in between the two beds, the one right here in the middle bed, and this last one here. So all of the trellises are up. All of the bags will be amended. Once I plant these seeds, I'm gonna help her finish amending these beds and then we're gonna go and chill. But I'm very proud of myself. 
I mean, in the last two days, I've done more than I have probably in the last few weeks. <laughs> Now what would the wind? What's in my knee? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I see why you told me to make sure I know which one I did. Yeah. Is it dry enough? get them or pour the water out of the trays that they're in uh, because this is going to make them literally cool. They're going to be sitting in water. So I will see y'all maybe tomorrow when I'm doing something out there. Not sure. Okay, it is Monday. Totally forgot that on the 1st, I will be out of town for work. So guess what we're doing? We are planting out, y'all. <laughs> so we are planting everything in the bags um, because of course, I feel like the bags stay a little bit warmer than the ground. So we're gonna plant our tomatoes out tonight. I'm still on the fence about the peppers. Um, like I said, we got all of the, the uh, weed barrier down, but I have not pinned it. So I'm going to pin it later on in the season when I have a little bit of time. She is over here saving all of the worms that came from under the bags. <laughs> What in the world? So, we're gonna get to planting. Uh, my father's here, my daughter's outside, so it's not gonna be quiet. I'm gonna put you on a tripod somewhere, and um, it's about, I guess, seven ish. Let's see what time it is. It's about, yes, it's seven o'clock on the dot, y'all. And so, I'm going to plant, put you on a tripod somewhere. I'm not putting anything else in my bags. We beat the rain the other day. You saw it in the video earlier. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and just plant in these. In a few days though, I will come back through with some fish emulsion um, just to give them a nice little head start. But right now I'm gonna try to get as many plants planted as I can. Tomorrow I'm going out in the evening. Uh, Wednesday I have PTO. <laughs> Another reason why I'm trying to get them in now is because it's supposed to rain like a lot for like three days. I think Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Perfect timing to put your uh, plants in because the rain is what's going to help them um, pull up the nutrients in the soil and to not really um, have any transplant shock. So I, that's why I'm doing this now. I wanted to wait until May. Life is not going to allow that and I want all the rain on these plants. <laughs> Eats everything I cook, y'all. That's to my dad. You mean that boat? I better get paid. I will not. <laughs> Come on here, Gail. Five o'clock. Come on, mom. Why are you using these night shovels on this garden? Friend, that's what they for. They're going to have to pull. Hmm. I understand that, but where do I put what? I'm putting it on the bag. What you mean? 
So you gonna put it in a bag and then I can dig it up? Yeah. And then pull off these bottom leaves. I know how to. Oh, you know how to do it? You be paying attention. It's not a tree. Yes, it is. And like loosen up the the what you call them a little bit. That's a tree. What? It's not a tree. It's a tomato plant. That's a tree. And plant it as deep as you can. That's a tree. In the bag. That's a tree. That'll be fine. That's a tree. And then make sure you leave the. I think the cat might be over there. Don't care. Probably the dog. Don't you think? Yeah, but the dog only gets. Come on, mama. The cat over there. I have a question. Yeah. Does this count as a bottom leaf? I probably will tell Kim. I can't go. Ever. Yeah. I, I'll be able to go in like, let's see, um, ninth grade, deploy it. Can't go until then. I can't go until the end of the ninth grade. So. Can't go to band until the ninth grade. Good, that's what I'm gonna have to look for and be in the high school, ninth grade. So. Are you breaking up the roots a little bit? Yes, my God. Yeah. Okay. Do me your bag. Oh, wait. Shut your mouth. I know. I'm digging my hand in the bag and I can't get it. Talk about your mama. Talk about that. That's the wrong. Talk about your mama. I do be talking about all of them. What? I ain't need to do nothing. All I said is I do. It'd be all good, though. Oh, do it? Yeah. Well, that's great. Happy to hear it. Be good. I be talking about you to my people. What you be telling them? I be talking to you mostly to Mr. Henderson now because, I mean. What you be telling them? What do you tell him about me? None. But nothing. No, not really. Well, why did you tell that whole entire untrue? You said you taught your teacher. Ace fifty five. Word. Sun go. So worm. I don't know it. Never mind. Found it. Beetle? Mm -hmm. How about 
the game of charades. Yes, okay. Two words, okay. Stick in one. Two words. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye, y'all.